August 28, 1963. Martin Luther King Jr. caps a major civil rights march in Washington with a speech for the ages at the Lincoln Memorial. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. 1968. In Chicago, police and anti-Vietnam War protesters clash in the streets during the Democratic National Convention. Connecticut Senator Abraham Ribicoff condemns the police for the violence when he nominates a fellow senator for president. And with George McGovern as president of the United States, we wouldn't have to have Gestapo tactics in the streets of Chicago. But Vice President Hubert Humphrey is the nominee for the deeply divided Democrats. He narrowly loses to Republican Richard Nixon in the fall. 1955. Emmett Till, a black teenager from Chicago, is abducted from his uncle's home in Money, Mississippi. Two white men seize Till after he supposedly whistled at a white woman. He's found brutally murdered days later. An all-white jury acquits the men of the crime. They later confess in a magazine interview. And 1996. In London, a royal split becomes final as Britain's Prince Charles and Princess Diana are granted a divorce. Diana is killed in a Paris car crash a year later. Charles marries longtime love Camilla Parker Bowles in the following decade. Today in History, August 28th, Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.